Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I got a pretty large project coming up where I have to cut out large circles and I wanted to do this with my plasma cutter. So I came up with this circle jig. I'm going to show you exactly how I built it and I'm going to show you how it works. If you haven't already, please like the channel and subscribe. I hope you enjoy the video. What we have here is an old car speaker, a storm door brace kit, a bearing, a coupler nut, threaded rod, and a threaded quick link. For the cup, I ended up using two stainless steel 3 quarter inch PEX clamps and a washer. All we need from the car speaker is the magnet. So I had got the grinder out and I'm cutting it free. Next thing I need to do is clean up the bottom of the magnet so the bearing can sit flush. As always, if you have a question about the project, welders, tools used today, or any other comment, if you have any suggestions about future projects, please let me know in the comments below. Now for the coupling nut, I measured the bearing against it, and now I'm going to round off that section so it fits inside the bearing. Next thing to do is drill a hole straight through the coupling nut, the size of the rod from the storm door brace kit. Next thing I did was I tacked together the two stainless steel 3 quarter inch hex clamps and the washer together to make the cup for the plasma cutter. Now I'm going to weld the coupling nut to the bearing. Now I'm going to take the bearing, center it on the magnet, then I'm going to weld it to the magnet. I did weld on the threaded quick link, but I missed recording it. So here I'm putting the rod from the storm door kit and making sure it spins and it can lock in place. Okay, here I'm using a couple washers to space the cup so I can weld it to the proper height onto the rod. The 
it's all finished let's try it out my welder is the yes welder versus mp200 it's a five in one it does flux core mig stick tig and plasma cutting i will leave a link below and if you use my coupon code of hard work you will get 10 percent off anything on yes water website all right i'm going to cut out a 29 and a half inch circle I added two other magnets either side of my circle jig. This is just for added security. The jig worked perfectly, and when I measured it, it was a perfect 29 and a half. Alright, we're going to cut another one. This one I'm going to do two cuts. The outside is going to be 34 and a half. The inside is going to be 28 inches. quite happy on how this turned out. It's really easy to make your measurement, cut it. I think this is a success. The circle jig worked perfect. If you want to see why I cut out the circle, keep an eye on my channel. My new project's coming out soon. If you haven't already, please like the channel and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one.